Good morning! It's day number two of the YouTube challenge. Um, my own YouTube challenge, 21 days, every day, one video, and I put myself out there. So, my name is Catherine and um, better known for you Instagram and Facebook as Canada. Um, and today is some, you know, we just dive in and I am going to give you a um, recommendation and tell you a bit more about um, morning rituals. So, if you want to integrate um, more spirituality in your life, and um, you want to uh, integrate, you know, um, spiritual rituals or um, you want to know what I am doing every morning um, to get my energy set for the day and to start my day in a positive way. Because, you know, spirituality is, for me, my personal view is, is nothing you do as a hobby, like... Um, you do a bit of yoga and meditation and then you're going to be spiritual or you sit there for hours and wait for spiritual awakening and you know it's um i don't want you to be scared i don't want you to see, see it as a witchcraft or something um weird it's not it's um if you live your life with a conscious mind, like being very aware of what you're doing and you're going out the door or you live your life with your family with an open heart and there's unconditional love, you know, you release your blockages and you, you try your best to get as much love out there as you can. Um, so that's spirituality for me and whatever it takes you to get in that mood because we all have bad days and we all have our luggage um, we are carrying, like um, imprints and traumas and we all have been hurt or um, we have our wounds. But this is your personal thing, you have to take care of this and the rest out there, like your family and every everyone you meet during the day is not responsible for that. So, and once you shift your mindset and once you open yourself for being more positive and integrate spirituality like um, meditation, connecting to the source, grounding to the earth and all that stuff, it makes it easier. But being spiritual means um, just be a 24-7, right? And um, not being happy 24-7, but if you're angry, you're angry and if you're sad, you're sad. But take care of that and take responsibility and get as much love out there as you can. So, um, we start with the morning, morning rituals. And um, I got five of mine, five rituals, when I am when I wake up in the morning and I open my eyes. Well, to be honest, I don't really open them first um, when the alarm is going or uh, someone nice is waking me up. <laughs> um, then I just give myself a bit of Reiki, like five minutes, ten minutes, whatever time I have. And if you don't have um, Reiki yet, um, you just put your hands on your belly, on your chest, on your legs, whatever. You want some warmth and energy. And then you can include a bit of breathing, like taking deep breath um, in and out. And five or ten or even fifteen so you make sure that there's enough oxygen and enough positive energy flowing in your system. And then um, I usually get up and make myself tea or hot uh, lemon water, something which is helping me to um, wake up. I, started do, uh, I stopped doing coffee in the morning, like first thing, because it upset my... Uh, stomach and my energies are going crazy and I get a bit anxious and stuff like this. So I started with um, drinking lemon water in the morning or um, puka teas or um, whatever tea you like. So and then I do my meditation. I have a treatment room so the energy in that room is um, nice and very high so the vibration is good for meditation 
but whatever place you want to choose in your house, um, make it your sacred space and you can sit on the floor, on your mat or cushion or even on a chair so your spine is up great. And then um, what I recommend is start with a grounding meditation, like 10 minutes um, and I will get back to the meditation later. Um, not today, but later in this challenge, because one of these days um, we're going to do a grounding meditation as well. And more meditations are coming up. But um, if you start with a grounding meditation, there's lots on YouTube as well. Or um, you can buy CDs, that's what I do. Um, and listen to guided meditation, grounding meditation, protection, chakra cleansing. Um, anything you like to listen to in the morning and get yourself in um, a good mood and a positive energy. So, grounding. Usually the meditations, they connect you to uh, your divine, higher self, connect you to your heart, to your middle. That's a good thing to do. And then, you know, you get this feeling of, wow, um, you're very grateful and um, you love your life and you love what you're doing. And you're gonna be happy to um, get out and um, live this day. So that's a good thing to do. Then number three, yes, number three is um, morning affirmations or affirmations you're gonna use throughout the day. Um, and I like I like these notes, so I put them everywhere, um, like to do or not only groceries, but you put your um, affirmations on there. And affirmation is, um, if you haven't heard anything about it or you don't know what it is, affirmations is like mantras, which a sentence you always repeat again and again, like 10, 15, 25 times. Um, let's say at least uh, 10 times. So your brain is believing what you are telling what you're saying to yourself and then all the brain chemistry and the hormones and everything is going in the right direction and everything is flowing and um, nourishing and thriving and that's what we need for the morning so for example a uh, affirmation could be everything is well in my life um, I'm thriving everything is good I am safe I love myself and I'm happy um, to be here. Or there are affirmations specifically for issues you might have, like problems or pain or... But that's um, something else we might may discuss later. So um, just, you know, let's say affirmations, morning affirmations is a big part of my um, day, of my journey when I wake up and start my day. So we have had the, the Reiki, the breathing in bed, and then you do a meditation and you can include the affirmations or when you finish your meditation, you just sit there for a while and repeat and repeat the sentence all over again. Everything is good in my life. Um, I choose to be healthy and wealthy and um, everything is thriving, I love myself and so on. It, it's a bit stupid at the beginning, you feel like, okay, um, I can't really feel it, but that's the thing, you repeat and repeat, it's a bit tricky for the brain and then you start to feel it and then you see that the outside, your life is changing about um, the things you tell to yourself because of the affirmations. So it's all to do with chemistry in your brain, setting your thoughts and your brain straight and the rest is following and your energy is following and everything, the outcome um, is much more positive. So um, number four in my morning ritual is um, tarot cards. So I don't choose the the Lenormand or tarot cards um, from the usual tarot reading. There's loads out there. You've heard from Dor Doreen Virtue or um, I have lots of beautiful sets um, with the women's wisdom, the women's body or the fairies or, you know, whatever, angels, whatever you like. Um, there's lots out there. But a card 
set is nice to use in the morning so you choose your card for the day or three cards or you, you can do a whole reading for yourself um, whatever you like and if you're new to this um, I started with that because um, I got a card set and I start using it by every morning drawing a card and that was my card for the day and I tried to integrate the the information on that card so um, yeah we're gonna do um, uh, cards and readings um, later on as well so that's included in the ritual if you like it um, just give it a try there are lots of nice um, tarot cards out there and number five of my morning rituals is um, let me see oh yeah mm, we need to eat something right so breakfast is included um, a mindful breakfast so um, it's really important because I have done breakfast in a rush and I when I started to be more mindful and integrate more spirituality um, I took my time for breakfast in the morning and even if it's a shake because you're not you can't eat in the morning or you, you want to skip breakfast try and do shakes even if it's a small one or a juice or something but you know that we, we're not talking about um, nutrition and and food now it's just include your breakfast as a very mindful and very um, just integrate it and, and relax and take your time and um, you know embrace that breakfast and, and honor the food and stuff like this and um, then it's time for coffee of course <laughs> um, yeah so and usually what I do is um, when I prepare the shake and I brew the coffee I do my yoga stretching so yoga is a big part of my life um, if you do workouts or if you go for a morning walk or if you go for a run or stuff like this I mean you can include that in your rituals so you have a, um, a full circle of morning rituals you do over and over again and then you feel and see don't give up because all these things together make make it a perfect day and a perfect start in the day and even though if it's gonna be um, a bad day or something is not right that's okay too just keep doing your morning stuff and tomorrow we're gonna talk about the evening ritual so if the day went not so well um, that's fine I'm gonna give you some recommendations tomorrow where um, you can cleanse this stuff from your system and I'm gonna let you know what you can do in the evening to prepare yourself for a good sleep beauty sleep and so on right so that was um, video number two I'm gonna see you tomorrow and um, yeah stay tuned I wish you a very very good day bye